There's a lot of discussion in the Linux community about what Linux distribution is the best, and to be honest, there really is no answer to that question. They're all just different, not necessarily better or worse, but if you really put me on the spot and asked what the best Linux distribution is, I'd actually say Linux Mint, and we're going to be discussing why that is right now on the Linux Lounge. So I just want to start off today's video by saying that I actually measure how good a piece of software is by how easily I can forget that I'm using it. If a piece of software can get out of my way and enable me to do whatever it is that I want to do with it, then I'll consider it to be a good piece of software. And in my view, Linux Mint is an absolutely fantastic piece of software by that criteria. From the moment you decide to install Linux Mint, it's incredibly easy to use. First, it has an incredibly simple and easy to use graphical installer. All you need to do is click some buttons, enter some information, and you're on your way to having Mint installed. Once you have Mint installed, you have an incredibly conventional and admittedly boring in all the best possible ways desktop environment. But that is good. If you know how to use any other graphical desktop, then Linux Mint is going to be incredibly easy for you to use. Use. Linux Mint also looks incredibly polished out of the box too, but if you don't like it, you can easily configure how Mint looks using a simple GUI. As well as that, Linux Mint has a lot of incredibly useful tools and applications out of the box, but not so many that it's bloated. For those reasons, I think that the out of the box experience of Linux Mint is among the best that you will find in the Linux world. But my reasons for thinking that Mint is the best distribution go deeper than that. Once you actually want to start getting work done, then Mint is pretty amazing there too. It has a really nice and friendly graphical software center where you can download all the applications that you need, and if you don't know what you're looking for, it's fairly easy to discover new software too. In addition to that, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, so you can expect that once you start getting work done, everything is going to be rock solid and will just work. But if you need even more stability than that, Mint also has a Debian edition, and although it'll probably have older package versions, it will be among the most stable Linux distributions out there. Overall, I think that Linux Mint is just a really nice distribution to get work done on, and I have no doubt that if you use Linux Mint, you probably won't have any problems while using it. But the next thing that you might wonder is what kind of maintenance do you need to do to keep using Linux Mint? Well, the answer to that is absolutely none, most likely. It's rare for Linux Mint to break, and when it does, there's a large and friendly community you can seek help from. In fact, Linux Mint is so maintenance-free that you don't even need to manually install updates if you don't want to. You can just set it to auto-update and never have to worry about a thing. You really can just install Mint and completely forget about it, which makes it really great for installing on other people's computers. Honestly, it's a surprises me that other Linux distributions don't have an auto-update feature like this. It's not obnoxious like Windows auto-updater either. You won't have to wait for updates to install in order to reboot, it just works. It's also worth mentioning that there are graphical tools to do pretty much everything else you could ever want to do in Linux Mint. It's also worth mentioning that Linux Mint doesn't exclude power users either. If you want to drop back to a terminal and sudo it up, there's nothing in Linux Mint to stop you from doing that. In addition, Linux Mint's default desktop environment, Cinnamon, is actually surprisingly configurable for power users, while also being easy to use for people who aren't power users. But if you decide that you don't like Cinnamon, Linux Mint does also have an XFCE and Mate edition if you prefer one of those desktops, or you can still install pretty much whatever desktop environment you want on any version of Linux Mint. Finally, the last reason I have for why I think Linux Mint is the best distribution is simply that it's popular, which might seem odd at first, but then consider that Linux Mint has a huge community and lots of guides written for it. And since it's an Ubuntu-based distribution, most of the guides and the development in the Linux world will probably be targeted at it since Ubuntu is the most popular distribution family out there. Additionally, a vast majority of the software for Linux that you'll download online is distributed as a dev package, meaning that with Linux Mint you can download pretty much whatever you find. So in conclusion, that's why I think that Linux Mint is the best Linux distribution. It enables the user to just get on with whatever they're using their computer for, 
without excluding power users. I honestly believe that Linux Mint just works more than any other Linux distribution. Now, I know that a lot of what I've said in today's video applies to other Linux distributions too, but I still think that Linux Mint has the edge, and it is easily the most set it and forget it operating system that's currently available. But, of course, you are always free to disagree with me. But, even if you do, I still thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.